Hey, welcome to Evolve Core One. I'm Rebecca, and man, am I so happy to have you joining me in Core today. I promise to make you tap into your core and feel things you've never felt before. You're in good hands because I'm a core specialist. You ready to dig in? Let's get started with our warm up. Big breath in, arms reach up overhead. I want you to take yourself over to the right, keeping your head right in between your arms, up and over to the left. Just to wake up the sides of the body, now the spine rotates, bends, and flexes, and the core supports all that movement. And we need to be warmed up all over to attack the workout properly. Let's take our arms to the side, rotate right and left. So you're gonna have three mods in your workout today. Mod one is gonna be the easiest, up to mod three, which is the most difficult. You can actually go up and down between any mod. This program was designed to allow you to do that and still get an effective workout. Go ahead and take your hands up overhead. Bring your palms together, and I want you to push in on your hands, almost giving me that prayer position. So you're gonna twist over to your right, bend your knees, hold it right here, back through center, and over to the left. Keep pushing your hands in towards one another. Just pressing your hands together is gonna really wake up the core. Keep pressing in on those hands. Try to keep your knees facing forward as you go through the whole time. So as you're pressing the hands in, you're gonna really feel the core woken up. So tutorials are gonna be the best way for you to get the moves broken down for you. Go check out Jana and see what's up. You can evolve up or mod down, depending on your level. We're gonna have mod one right here demonstrated by Marine. If you're working with an injury, if you're new to waking up your core, Marine's gonna be your girl. Let's go ahead and take our hands all the way up on an inhale. I want you guys to roll it down, walk out to a plank position, you just hold it right here for me. If you need to drop down to your knees, that's always an option and lift them back up, or you can come down to your forearms. I just want you to hold it here for a quick 15 seconds. So modification number two is gonna be shown by Stefan right here. So if you're okay with everything that's happening in mod one, and not quite ready for mod three, Stefan's gonna be your guide. Walk your hands in towards your feet, roll it all the way up, take a nice deep breath in, inchworms coming up, and we're gonna roll down, we're gonna walk out as far as you can go. Walk the hands back in and walk it all the way up. Modification number three is Char. So she's gonna be showing you the most advanced movements. So if you have your balance and you're already in touch with your core, Char's gonna be your girl. Once you've mastered that mod three here, then it's gonna be a great time to start thinking of evolving up into E2. Give me one more right here. Find a nice deep breath in. We're all gonna meet with our arms up overhead. I want you to place your hands on the small of your back with your fingers facing down. So it looks like this. Bring your feet right underneath you. I want you to softly bend your knees. I want you to press your hips forward and arch and look up. Come back through center. Curl the spine, drop the head down. We're gonna do that again one more time. Arch, press the hips forward protecting your lower back with your hands, and then curl the spine down. Last time, roll the shoulders down and back. Deep breath in, arms reach up. Now in this set, we're doing seven exercises followed by a cardio blowout, and then repeat it again. Let's go. Our first round of set A is gonna start off with a single leg deadlift YWT arms. It looks like this. Right leg goes back behind us, fire up that leg, take your hands up overhead. We're gonna lower down into that deadlift position. Your arms are out in that Y, pull them back to a W, extend out to a T, and reset, swing down and out. We're gonna stay on this right hand side for half the time. We're gonna switch over halfway through. Your time starts in three, two, one, let's begin. Think about an ironing board opening up. So you're gonna see Char right here, arms going, Y, pull it back, W, extend out T, drop it down. So you're actually creating the letters with your body. Let's go ahead and switch sides right here. Lift up, carefully lower, left leg goes back behind you. And I'm actually gonna go check out Stefan and Mont 2 right here. His foot is not a floppy fish. No fish out of water back here. Just because it's behind you doesn't mean that it doesn't exist, right? You see his foot is now flexed up, his calf is engaged, his quad is engaged, and now his core. Everything travels up the body. Last three, two, one, and relax. Ballet squat is next. 
So I want you to turn your toes out. Beautiful turn out position. Hands are gonna go up overhead. I want you to lift up. We're gonna lower down for two, hold for one, lift for two, hold for one. Time starts in three, two, one. Here we go. So everything's gonna splay out. Nice and slow, pause at the bottom, and then lift on the way up. Dancing is such a challenging sport. It gives you so much balance. And hey, what's the hardest part of ballet? Getting the leotard on. Just kidding, I'm totally kidding. I'm a dancer and a gymnast myself. I know how hard it is. And this is not an easy move right here. So you're gonna see the knees go out, they go right down over that toe. Inner thigh is gonna lift all the way up. I think I have another dancer on my hands right here. Yep. Good. That's why her balance is so on point, and I know after many repetitions of ballet squats, you're gonna feel the same thing. Shake out the legs in three, two, one. Coming down for hello planks. So we're gonna come into our nice forearm position. So I want you to come down, one hand in front of the other. We're gonna open up to our right hand side, take that right hand up, and we're gonna go for big waves, big hellos over here. Come on and check me out. Half the time on the right, half the time on the left. Time starts three, two, one, and let's begin. Most importantly, what I want you to do is pack that shoulder up so it's directly over the elbow and it's super protected. So you're gonna see the back fully engaged and this top arm is giving me a nice wave. The only thing I want Maureen to change is to take her head in line with her body. We're gonna switch sides in three, two, one. Go ahead and switch forearms. She's gonna flex this foot for me, press the inner foot down, and it's gonna fire up. Just like I showed you with Stefan and that deadlift, it starts from the heel and goes all the way up to the head, right? So extending the head, I'm gonna do it one more time. It feels a little awkward, but everything does the first time through. You'll get used to it. Three, two, one, and relax. Our uptown crunch is coming up. So I want you to lay on your left hand side so your right side body is up to the ceiling. You're gonna take this left hand out in front of you, place your right hand behind your head. We're gonna bring our upper body, shoulder towards that right hip and lower down. Upper body towards that hip and lower down. Yes, just a tiny little movement. Again, I'm looking for here, crunch to open, crunch to open. Time starts in three, two, one, begin. Now this is gonna be one of those movements where you're really gonna feel it first and then you'll see it. with mod two right here. Now he's dropping and resetting after each rep, whereas mod three keeps her legs in the air at all times. Flip and switch sides. That's perfect. This looks great. So what I'm looking for is to see my fingers extended and then crunching in, pinch it right here. I want 10 more seconds, guys, no stopping right here. Final three, two, one. Nice work right there, guys. So the sneaky bear is coming up. I love this. We're coming on to all fours. Tuck the toes under. Slightly lift the knees. They should be in a hovering position. One little hand lift, one little knee lift. Hand and knee off the floor. So the knees are staying in a hover, and we're just lifting opposite hand and foot at the same time. Time's gonna start in three, two, one. Now, as you lift your hand and your foot, you wanna be able to pause at the top for a full two seconds. And this is gonna be the trickiest part right here. So even just holding the bare position, which is having your knees up off the floor, is challenging in itself. Think about your transverse abdominis. Think about it as the corset of your abs the actual part that's gonna help you just stay lifted. So lifting those knees up off the ground, which is Maureen's giving me right here, enough that my hands can slide underneath. Everything right here is holding. I can feel it engage. So it engages and then it relaxes. You feel that, yeah? Oh, yes. Okay, that's perfect right there. Keep it up for three, two, one, and we're going into our balancing press. So go ahead and stand it on up. First, I want you to go take your arms into goal post position, really tighten up those fists so the arms are nice and contracted. What we're gonna do is find our balance on our left leg. We're gonna extend our right leg back behind us to 45 degrees and press. Swing it over to the right and press. So every time you tap, your arms press at the same time. 
Yes, it's gonna require a little bit of coordination, so if you need a tutorial, now's the time to go check it out. Three, two, one, let's begin. The further the leg goes back behind you in the range of motion, the more difficult it's going to be. So the arms press on the tap, it presses, and then it presses again, yes. So he's going from directly behind him out to the side. Now I wanna see those elbows in line with your shoulders, good. Switching sides right here. So make sure not to press the arms back behind you and lead with the chest. It's not a Superman. I know we have Superman abs, but we need to keep the elbows in line. Three, two, one, and relax. Moving into our rotating Saxon. Arms up overhead, plant the feet, get nice and grounded. We're gonna lift up, over to the right, back through center, and we're gonna add a rotation. So up and over to the left, back through center, and over to the twist. Time starts in three, two, one, let's begin. No matter where your hand placement is, whether they're on your hips in Egyptian or up overhead, you're going to have shoulders stacked on top of your hips. What I want you to do is separate your rib cage from your hips. So what she's gonna do for me first, ready? Before we go left, you're gonna lift up first, stay low, just the rib cage and over. And now bring it back center and then find the twist. So it's almost like taking a deep breath in, right? You wanna go up and over to the right, back through center and then find the twist. One more right here. Find that twist over to the left, up and over. Aha, you see that? That's that nice lift right there. In three, two, one, relax. Here's our first blowout. It's gonna be our plank sequence. I need you guys to come down onto your forearms first. Just center, right in front of left. Get the shoulders over the elbows, time starts. In three, two, one, begin. So, planks are gonna be one of the quintessential core exercises. Like in all planks, including the center plank, foot position is important. The wider the feet, the more stability you have. And this is gonna be where you start. You have to have a solid foundation. This plank right here is gonna give you that. Feet together, heels are together, her kneecaps are pulled up, her booty is nice and tight, her lower abs are sucked in, her shoulder blades are spread apart, neck is nice and long, and her gaze is out in front of her. That's beautiful. Let's go open to our right in three, two, one. Open to the right hand side. Don't be fooled by how easy this exercise looks. It's not, especially if you wanna keep perfect form. Don't just think about it as relying on this shoulder, right? You have this entire side body that's lifting you up. So anything lifted, aha! There's a whole powerful side body that can take you through this movement and make it feel so much easier if you actually pay attention to it. Let's switch sides in three, two, one. Right hand under, open up to that left. Get that left hand all the way up to the ceiling in mod three. You're gonna see in mod two right here, his feet are staggered. So he's on the inside of this top foot. Let the inside foot drop and the outer edge. So ankles are fired up, they're nice and locked. Lifting, hip to the floor, chest is open. Final four, three, two, one, and relax. Good job, guys. You deserve a nice break of water. You have 45 seconds. Team, why don't you grab a sip of water, bring it back. Now listen, six packs are cool and all, but I think what I can do with my core blows any six pack out of the water. This is gonna make your life so much easier. It'll just blow your mind how many things that you do in a day that require so much core balance and strength. For example, how about standing up, shaving your legs in the shower, ladies? You're activating your entire core. So many things you don't even think about. Your body is requiring your core to fire up to do every single thing from the moment you wake up and get out of bed to the minute you go to sleep. You all ready? We're back into our second round of set A, starting with our single leg deadlift YWT. Right leg goes back behind you, shoelaces to the floor. Go ahead and put your hands on your hips for me. I want your fingers facing forward. Take your arms in your starting position. We're all gonna go together in four, three, two, one. Here we go, all the way out. Flex that back foot. Arms pull back into that W, extend out into that T, and swing down and out. Now staying here in mod three is gonna be the challenge because you're requiring all your weight to be on that standing leg.
switch legs. So here's a little trick right here and I want you to try it at home. Pretend you're on the balance beam. I want you to see the end of that balance beam, whether it be here, whether it be close to you, and I don't want you to take your eyes off of it. That is gonna be your horizon. It's gonna help you stay right there. Final three, final two, one, and recover. Coming into our ballet squat. Nice and comfortable, arms up overhead, lift the heels up off the floor, lower down one, two, hold, lift, lift, hold. Time starts in three, two, one, make it a dance. So we're lowering down, everything goes out, you hold for a pause, and then lift up. You look like a ballet dancer. Oh, thank you. Nice and solid. This is good. Have you ever taken ballet? No. Nope. Are you sure? Uh-huh. You're a basketball player, right? That's right. You should, man. I promise it'll make everything better. I heard of that. You did, right? Uh-huh. You're like, hey, coach, <laughs> I want to throw us into some ballet some practices. <laughs> Nice work. Take a deep breath in. You guys have about 10 more seconds right here. Really keep that focus in front of you. The balance beam trick still applies here, keeping that focus straight ahead. Three, two, one, and relax. Hello planks, starting down on our forearms, get set up in that equal sign with those arms. Stack the feet open to the right, and big wave right here. Time starts in three, two, one, and begin. Now, it's not a race, although you saw a castaway. <laughs> Tom Hanks was definitely waving his arms pretty fast. Wilson. <laughs> exactly. Wilson, no. But he probably did some hello planks, right? Lots of time to work out when you're on an island by yourself. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Stack those feet, really fire it up, heel to head. Her head's in line with her body. This is beautiful. So you're keeping your head nice and neutral in your spine. You're gonna be able to breathe a lot better and the actual weight of your head is not gonna be conked forward so there's no impingement on your throat or on the back of your neck. Three, two, one, and relax. Moving right along into our uptown crunch. Go ahead and lay down on your left hand side. Take your left hand out in front of you. Swipe the hair back behind your ears and just let your fingertips rest on that earlobe. So you're gonna lift your feet up off the floor and you're gonna bring your upper body towards your hip and crunch it in. Time starts in four, three, two, one, and let's begin. This is your point of target right here. So if I put my hand on the point of target, spread my fingers out as wide as I can, it should go from about six inches to about three inches. So we're looking to really contract that muscle, yes? You can see it on every single one of them. Switching sides right here. I want to see your left hand side. Get there as quickly as possible, no time to waste. So we actually have to get that hand down, really crunching in. I don't need you to grab your love handles right here, yeah? We all got them, we can make it happen. All I want you to do is actually see that it's working. Muscle expands, it lengthens, and it contracts, it shortens. That's three, that's two, and that's one. Okay, the sneaky bear is coming up, back on all fours, tuck the toes under, lift the knees off the floor, starting with your right hand, left foot, and then switching. Left hand, right foot. Time starts in three, two, one, and begin. If you're starting with mod one right here, just lifting the knees, if you can hold it up for a while, go ahead and move on to mod two right here. You're gonna see, He's lifting one hand at a time. I want you to just bring your feet a little bit closer towards one another and make sure that your knees are pressing out so your knees are directly under your hips. You can walk your feet in a little bit more. That's it right there. A nice flat spine, head's nice and long so he's not tucking his tailbone under too far and he's not arching his back. So you don't wanna have the arch in the back and you don't wanna have the tuck. You wanna have a nice neutral spine. Three, two, one, and relax. Our balancing press, let's stand it up, guys. Goal post arms, soft bend in that left leg. You're gonna press back, tap, swing the leg over, tap again. So the press happens on every single swing of the leg. Time starts in three, two, one, right side first. I don't wanna see any loose fists. It gets sloppy. No sloppy jalopies right here. Tight fists, tight arms. This chick's a rock climber right here. Her upper body 
is nice and strong. I know it. Look at these guns right here. They're dangerous. They set off metal detectors at the airport. Switch legs right here. And look at Mod 3. It's a swing, so her leg goes up and over. She's gonna go up and over my hand. Look at that. You're using your glute and your lower back. Your core consists of not just the front of your abs, but actually the back side of you too. They have to work simultaneously. Three, two, one, and recover. Coming up, the rotating Saxon. Hands up overhead, softly bend your knees, lift up and over to the right, back through center, rotate. Three, two, one, to the right, alternate to the left. Here we go. Keeping those arms equidistant. So it's almost as if you're pressing in. You've ever seen those stability balls or the beach balls that you've played around with? You're gonna see Char pressing in on that ball, but it doesn't really matter where your hands are depending on your mod. Remember in that warm up when I had you press your hands together, the core activates, everything gets fired up. So pressing in on those hands, he's gonna press the palms out, open those hands up. You can still feel the core fired up. Marine's gonna take her hands onto her hips, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. It's the rib cage that lifts up and over. Last time, baby. Over the left and twist to the left. Rotate it. Bring it back through center. Beautiful. And three, two, one, relax. Moving on to our final blowout of set eight, guys, our plank sequence. We're gonna fire through this a little bit quicker right here. So come down to the forearm plank. I wanna get in with you. Time starts in four, three, two, one. Again, right from the top, holding right here. So it's gonna be a quick 15 seconds. I want you to stay up on your toes. Start to let your brain go for a little bit. Good work, everyone. This looks fantastic. Get so comfortable that you could sleep here the whole time, yeah? <laughs> Open up to that right-hand side. Open up. There we go. Fire up those feet. If you were standing on the curb, this is a loose ankle. This is a tight ankle. So I want you to think about that in your plank right now. Switch to the center, center plank. Squeeze the booty. Open up to the right again. Right side, right side, right side. Yeah. Hold it here for four, three, two. Go ahead and switch sides right here. Trading out your hands, open up to the left. Now we're gonna hold it here for about 10 seconds. It's good to know where you're headed, right? Yeah. Exactly, we like to know what's going on. You have about six more seconds. Pull up from the kneecap. Again, close the chest a little bit. Hips in line, that's great. Three, two, back to center. Open up to the right. Four, three, two, one. Open up to the left. Four, three, two, one. Hold center. Four, three, two, one. Open up to that left for that last side. Four, three, two, one, and drop it down. That, my friends, was the complete express program right there of core one. I'm very impressed. Job well done. My friend's gonna get some water, and as soon as you're ready, we're gonna get back and go into our cool down, because it's really necessary to cool down your body. Oh yeah, <laughs> let's do this cool down. Inhale the arms up. And go ahead and press the palms up to the ceiling. I want you to take it over to the right, and over to the left. Go right here, over to the right, and over to the left. We're gonna take it into a zen swing. The cool down was similar to the warm up. You're still rotating, you're bending and you're flexing. Now, hey, listen, start thinking about where you're gonna have post-workout right here. Start with this. If it's in your fridge or in your kitchen, you're probably gonna eat it. So make sure it's healthy. Prepare and portion things out so it's nice and easy. Grabbing snacks on the go, fruit, veggies, hummus, or hey, check out Evolve Nutrition. It's gonna break it down for you. Let's take our hands nice and wide, interlace your fingers behind your back, bring your palms together, drive the fist down, lift the chest up. You can smile right here, you made it through. And go ahead and reach your arms forward, curl the spine, so we're flexing the spine right here, releasing the lower back. And we're gonna open it up, palms open this time. Arch and look up. I want you to give yourself a big hug, curl yourself forward. As you roll up, just let your arms hang, roll the shoulders down and back. We're gonna take it down to the floor. So we're gonna come down 
onto your knees, lay down onto your belly. Take your hands right underneath your shoulders and we're just gonna go up for Cobra right here. So shoelaces on the ground, inhale, look up. You can come all the way up to Cobra, you can come halfway down. I'm just looking to open up the core right here. And get the shoulders away from your ears. Drop your head, roll down to the right. Drop your head, roll down to the left. And we're all gonna come back down to our forearms first. And finally, lower all the way down. Press yourself back into child's pose. Hips onto your heels. Really let your hands go out as far away in front of you as you can. Just get up on your fingertips for me. So let your forearms come up off the floor. Walk your hands both over to the right hand side. Get a stretch in that side body. Pressing your chest towards the floor. Walk your hands back through center and over to the left. Back through center last time right here. We're gonna roll all the way up. Just swivel your hips around so you're actually gonna lay down on your back. Pull your knees into your chest really quickly for me. Knees into your chest. Keep your knees together. Place your left hand on the outer edge of your right leg. Right hand out to the side. And just go for a nice spinal twist right here. Now Char might be able to give me a nice straight leg of both and really extend it out if that's for you and it deepens your stretch a little bit and the twist of your spine, that's great. Otherwise, help yourself. Put your hand on the outer edge of your left leg and scoop your knees up through center. Trade out your hands and go ahead and take it over to the right. Place your hand on the outer edge of your right leg, hug your knees in, roll it on up to a seated position. And that, my friends, was the express program of Core One. Congratulations, job well done. If you have more time next time, please try the standard or the extended program. I'm Rebecca, this is my team, and this is Evolve.